Dr. Benjamin has spent 45 years serving our community, delivering, saving thousands of babies and moms, and mentoring and guiding doctors in training. Looking at the crowd, it looks like Dr. Benjamin has delivered all women in Montreal. <laughs> Where is she? She's hiding, as usual. So how does it feel? This is for you. <laughs> how do I feel? I feel embarrassed. She's dedicated her life to delivering the most complicated pregnancies. She received the gift from God to be the greatest OBGYN in the world. Whatever the situation is, Dr. Benjamin is the only person in the world that could solve that problem. And how can you go to sleep at night if you know you're the one that could solve that problem? The Rhodes, or as she would call them, the rocket science twins, whose mom is actually here, came all the way from England. Patricia Durante, who was diagnosed with leukemia at 26 weeks of gestation. I know that the Silverman family is here. I had the pleasure of meeting them a few minutes ago. And they have literally had dozens of children delivered by Dr. Benjamin. She doesn't sleep, she doesn't eat, nothing. Seeing them with these babies, it's the greatest reward. She always says, I don't need anything. And that just inspires everybody to say, well, what can I do? Do you all agree that we need more Dr. Benjamins? Yes. So the question is, how do we produce more Dr. Benjamins? Where do they come from? So I know you're retiring this year. I know you're retiring. What is your wish list? What in this world would you love to see as your legacy? And she mentioned that her dream is to see the residents of McGill travel to third world countries. Where they can see for themselves what the desperate needs on the ground are. Come back and reflect on it and maybe go back one day and do some amazing work there. It is that first cry in the delivery room that the entire team eagerly and anxiously wait for for it is the best sound ever, which makes it all worthwhile. My, uh, you know, I feel blessed and deeply humbled to be a part of this event, which has turned out to be beyond even my imagination. It's not the amount of money you contribute, it's the kind of kind words you've said. It's forever embedded in my heart and in my brain. I'm ever so grateful to the university for educating me, to the hospital for training me, and my colleagues for supporting me, and for my patients, my beloved precious patients, for entrusting me for your care. I am ever so grateful and thank you.